Alright, who's ready to fly? Yeah! Welcome to Mesa RC Foam Fighters. This is tip series um, on finding the center of gravity of our plane. And we've got Clara here um, showing off. We haven't really come up with a name yet. Mm -mm. It's called like the MF Gilchrist right now. Like yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Um, anyways, it's, it's looking amazing. And um, would you first, before we get into the center of gravity, talk about your plane first. So what's, what are, you, what are you doing here? Uh, what we did was uh, we I made the wing solid right here so it was like all the way out and instead of cutting it off like the original model. So we I extended this wing and I kind of brought it down a little more diagonal and then brought this out further. And then back here, instead of having a circular angle like right here, uh, I straightened them out like this and made them <sighs> corners instead. Right. So it's a delta style wing that you're doing, mm -hmm. um, and you really had to reconfigure yes. everything that was going on inside the wing. Cause there's a lot that goes on inside the wing. There's a lot of holes, yeah, <laughs> holes and layers and all that. And um, this is her first prototype of the of the plane, and it looks amazing. So there was just a few little minor issues I think that you all fixed on the cab, yeah. and, and that's pretty much it. So. Um, it's got the same nose and body, so that didn't change, right? Mm -mm. And then the, just the rest of it is just, uh, it's going to be awesome. I really think this is cool. So this is what some of our kids get to. They get to the point where they've made the, the actual plane, and you don't just want to go right into putting electronics on it. And you want to try to keep it as bare as possible. No servos, no motors, none of that. And you want to do throws with it. You want to do some glide tests. And so what we did was we threw some um, some washers on the front here. I don't know if you can see that, Tyler. And we just guessed. We just guessed. Just Three washers. Them in there, yeah. yeah. And um, this is what happened. It's a good thing you can catch it. So the idea for the glide is that you don't want it to stall any, either way. You want to just straight right when you throw it, hopefully get a good level throw. You want it to just continue to, to, to fall down level. You never want it to stall out or nose dive too bad. Nose diving is okay, um, but you don't want to do it you know, too, too bad. But hey, we got it right on the first time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, now that we have it set, you would go and you stick your fingers under there until it balances, and then you'd make the marks. So you see here. So this would be her center of gravity, CG mark. And then we just need to measure it. So yeah, cool. Yeah. That's it. So as you can see, um, the glide was perfect, yeah, and nice. it's now she can actually start to put stuff on it. Now before she puts stuff on it, what we did was is we kind of balanced on our fingers, right? So was, you can use dowels or anything like that. But we, it's about. As soon as it bounces underneath the wing, a little bit nose heavy, come over here, perfect. So this one is our center of gravity. And then this is kind of like where we base it off of. Um, that's for the old model, that's this model. And we knew because of a delta, the more weight back there, we're gonna have to move it back. So this is where we have it. Um, and then she would mark, Claire would mark this off as, I don't know, did we figure out the distance on that? 18. 18 something? More than 18. Okay, so we'll write that down, keep it, save it. And now she'll put her servos, the motor, um, the uh, ESC, all the electronics on it, and then the battery now she'll place up here in relation to the center of gravity, and then we'll be able to test this thing out. Yeah. Cool? Yeah. So you create a plane, you have to, have to, have to make sure you glide test it first. Once you glide test and you have the markings, then go to town and, and go crazy. So um, other than that, stay tuned with Claire and her build. It's going to be pretty cool. Thanks for watching.